Hey, 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 people. It is 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock on the dot Eastern Standard Time, and I made it. I made it. So, Nicole Cooper here. I am so summertime, summertime. So, this thing says my connection is weak. I am hoping that you guys can actually see me. Um, and if you can, just comment below so I can know that you are plugged in. But tonight, I want to talk to you all about why I changed my business model. And Okay, here we go. Why does it say connection week? Maybe it's raining, I don't know. It's funny, you pay all this money for these connections and they wanna say they're weak. I'm literally sitting next to my Wi-Fi box and my actual um, phone. I spent a heck of a lot of money. So anyway, today I'm gonna talk to you guys really quickly about why I changed my business model to focus purely on passive income and how you can do the same. You see, I had launched earlier on um, Periscope and I was talking about the fact that, you know, most of us, when we become entrepreneurs, we speak ill of employees. We speak ill of the idea of working a job and doing a nine to five and blase, blase, blase. Um, and we get into this mindset that entrepreneurship is the way to go. Hey, is it Chan Chan Chanel? I'm hoping I'm saying it right. Hi, you got to tell me how to pronounce it. But hey... Good to see you. Glad you are on. Um, but I was just sharing that we get in this mindset where we are very condescending to people with jobs or to, or the idea of having a job. And then we talk about entrepreneurship um, as the big ticket item and we promote the good, the wonderful, the glitz and the glam of an entrepreneurial industry. Uh, but we don't talk about the truth, the true journey of what it means to build a successful business. And when I say that, I mean it. I mean a journey of what it really takes to evolve and grow and develop and build a successful business. And one of the things that most people will not share with you is the truth behind the scenes as an entrepreneur, the hardships, the frustrations, the isolation, you know, the inconsistent income, all these different things, the hustle and the bustle, the rat race, right? You know, most of us talk about escaping the employee rat race but a lot of us end up getting becoming a part of an entrepreneurship rat race. And so I'm going to talk to you all tonight about why I made some decisions to make some changes, um, why I literally pretty much walked away from multiple six-figure incomes to start from scratch and how it's going to benefit me in the long run. Now, one of the things that uh, I will say about entrepreneurship is it is about hustling, right? It's about he who hustles, she who hustles hard, um, and she who knows how to be consistent in their hustle. When it comes down to building a business, guys, you all know that it requires for you to be consistent about whatever it is that you do, right? It requires for you to always be going after making that next paycheck. Now, the issue with that is when you are constantly chasing a check as an entrepreneur, you don't feel like you're making any progress. You feel like you're just like a job, but the difference is you don't have any predictable income. You go from hustle to hustle to hustle to, to paycheck to paycheck to paycheck, and you never really know where your next check is coming from. And so you always are in grind mode. You can never really take your feet up off the accelerator because you're just constantly in this hustle, whether you are a coach trying to get your next client, whether you are a network marketing business trying to get your next recruit, whether you have a sales business, a retail business where you're trying to make your next sale. But I've seen it both offline and online where so many people uh, get caught up in the rat race of entrepreneurship. And so I want to talk to you all tonight about understanding the three types of income and why we have to be very mindful of the three types of income and how to position ourselves to earn it and why I made a decision to make a pivot so that I can truly begin to create long-term success as opposed to being caught up in that hustle and bustle mindset. 
Now, for those of you just joining us, uh, my name is Nicole Cooper, so welcome, welcome. Um, you can uh, be plugged into us over at NicoleSCooper.com, all right, NicoleSCooper.com, or you can plug into our up-and-coming PIC community, P-I-I-C community.com, that's Passive Income Inner Circle uh, community.com, but we do the acronym for short, which is P-I-I-C community dot com. All right. So let me tell you guys about the three types of income. All right. You have your active income, you have your leveraged income, and you have your passive income. Okay. Your active income is what you do immediately right now to pay your bills. So if you have a job, that's your active income, right? If you are a coach and you get clients, you are, that's your active income. If you have a, a retail store and you sell product, that's your active income. Your active income is the thing that you do day in and day out to make sure that your, your basic bills get paid, all right? Then you have leveraged income. Okay, now in the active income is usually you exchanging time for money, all right? So you end up going to work and, and they pay you. You don't go to work, you don't get paid. If you're a cosmetologist, you do hair, you get paid. If you are a consultant, you got a consulting client, you do work, you get paid, right? There's variations in it, but I, the, I, the idea of active income is you get paid for whatever you do. It's physical work you're doing, right, in exchange for money. The second thing is leveraged income. Okay, when it comes to leveraged income, it's when you put yourself in a position to do something one time to a group of people and get paid. So if you are doing a seminar and you charge per person to get into that seminar and you're gonna spend, you know, maybe four hours with people, it's you and maybe 30 people and those 30 people may have paid a hundred bucks, right? So now you're getting leveraged income because you're doing something one time for an audience who's paying you individually. Do you get it? So it's one to many relationship, right? So it's you being able to go out and make an income and leverage it. So if I do a group coaching program, that's leveraged income. If I do a live seminar, that's leveraged income, okay? And then the third way you make income is called your passive income. And passive income is when you do something one time, but you get paid for it over and over and over again. So you don't have to keep going back to do work to try to get that thing to work. You do that, you do that activity one time and you get paid over and over and over again. So for those that are in network marketing, we call it residual income, right? You build a team and your team starts doing the work and you get paid residual income. For those who understand the idea of royalties for people who are actors and actresses or music art musicians or whatnot, you know, if if for actors, every single time a commercial or movie is being played on TV, they get paid royalties, right? So they shot that movie one time, but they get paid royalties. People who are um, in commercials, right? They shot the commercial one time, they get paid every single time it plays. Um, that's, that's passive income, okay? I wanna talk to you guys about passive income today and, and why as entrepreneurs, we gotta understand how to position ourselves for passive income and you can actually make it a priority by leveraging the internet. Because here's the deal, I have, I have all three income sources, active, leveraged, and passive. But one of the things that I've learned is when you have technology, when you have the internet, you have the ability to position yourself to have passive income over and over and over again for many, many, many months to come if you do it the right way. And that's what we'll be talking about in the PIC community. Uh, uh, .com, P-I-I-C community.com when we launch on August 30th. So here's my deal. And I know it's late. And um, I literally just ran in the house from Chuck E. Cheese with my kids and hopped in my office to, to do this video. And I'm going to do a, a, another one in the morning to go into a little bit more detail. But here's the deal. And here's one of the things that I've noticed um, just as an entrepreneur that uh, that I, that made me make some changes. You know, one of the things that I've been able to be blessed with is to learn the power of technology and to learn the, the concept of Internet marketing. And as a matter of fact, today I was um, at my office. I have office space in downtown Austin. And I met a guy from Austria. He was a blind guy. And it was funny because I saw him on his computer sitting in the uh, like the little cafeteria area that we have um, in our in our office. And I never knew he was blind until he stood up and he got his, his stick because he was sitting on a computer working the entire time. Right. So fooled me. So he gets up. 
and he's walking towards the counter. Um, and I notice he's fumbling around trying to find his way. So I walk up to him and say, hey, how can I help you? You know, can I help you get something? And he said, yeah, you know. So long story short, I'm helping him get his snacks. I'm helping him get his drink and stuff like that. And we start talking. And he was like, so what do you do? And and he told me, he's like, I'm not from here. I'm from Austria. I'm here for uh, a work program, whatever, blah, 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 startup program. And we sit down and we begin to talk. And he tells me he just finished law school and that he's in the middle of a startup business. He's starting up his business, but he wants to find a way to make money outside of his startup because he knows that his startup is going to take time to generate money. And so I began to talk to him and I said, well, hey, have you ever heard of blogging for profits? And so I began to explain to him the concept of blogging for profits. And I said, listen, let me tell you, you have an advantage. I said, you have an advantage because most people think you have a disadvantage. I said, but I'm impressed because you're here working in the tech industry. You have a law degree and you're very savvy, smart and have a beautiful personality. I said, imagine if you started blogging about how despite your disabilities, you have a lot of capabilities because of technology, right? So we start talking about this thing and I start explaining to him how leveraging a blog is actually going to allow you to get paid multiple ways. And so I broke it down for him. I said, you know, when you have a, a blog, as long as you learn how to create quality content, and you set yourself up where you drive people to places that are going to pay you, you can literally be creating a passive income. And so we start, he starts asking me all these questions. He was like, so how does that work? And what do you do? And what kind of money are we talking? And the more he asked me, the more I got excited because he is the ideal person. And it was the ideal conversation that I've been wanting to have about creating passive income. Long story short, um, I'm going to be working with him and showing him how to create passive income while he's building his startup business. And so, so I'm, I'm coming to all of you on today to just kind of share with you guys, you know, why I'm making some different decisions. You know, I've been in this industry for eight years and I've saw a lot of different business models. But if there's one thing that I've seen, and I'm just going to be very frank with you guys, what I've noticed about about making money online, it reminds me of the drug game in the 80s, okay? Now, this is a, a crazy analogy, um, but for those of y'all who from big cities, you remember in the 80s, the drug game, right? Where a lot of crack cocaine, <laughs> crazy analogy for business, right? But a lot of crack cocaine came into our communities. A lot of young kids started making a lot of money real fast. They started getting a lot of nice fancy cars. They started balling out, having a lot of cash. It's blase, 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 blase. And then things changed. And now, then they ended up, you know, blowing a lot of money, thinking you always live that way. And you end up looking for the next big hustle, right? And I say that from a standpoint of, you know, the hustle game is the hustle game. When you get into something where you can make a lot of money fast, what tends to happen is psychologically, we begin to think that this is forever. And it's the same thing in network marketing. It's the same thing in, um, it's just in anything where money comes fast. It's the same thing in real estate. It's the same thing in the mortgage industry. It's the same thing in all kinds of sales positions, whether you are selling luxury vehicles or um, or day-to-day or -day vehicles like Kia or, or Honda, right? The, the thing about most people, when you start making money, there is an assumption that it will be this way forever. And what happens is we get comfortable and we don't understand the difference between short-term money and long-term money. And what generally happens for most of you is, and I'll be honest, and I told somebody this today, I said, the unfortunate thing about our audience is you guys like to be lied to. You only follow the hype. Um, things that promise you that you can get everything you want for a little bit of effort, not all of you, but most of you. And you're often looking for the get rich quick button. We just are, right? We're looking, we're desperate. Um, we have bills that we need to pay right away. And we're waiting for somebody to tell us how, if I press one button and I put a few dollars in this thing, that I'm going to be rich overnight, which is why most people buy into the great success stories, right? We all go to network marketing business meetings and we hear about that one person who made $50,000 in 30 days. And we start believing that that's what's going to happen for me. But we don't understand that that person has 10 years under their belt. They've established and built tons of relationships and they work 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week. We never see the behind the scenes. And so we never think for the long term of what is going to be required of me so I can make sure that this is sustainable, right? 
Are you guys with me? I know this is, I feel like this is a lot late at night. Are y'all with me? I feel like I should be doing this like in the morning. Anybody there? Yes, no, thumbs up. Say, I'm here, Nick, if you are able to hear me and you're plugged in. Okay, yes, one person. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> All right, Sean. All right, cool. With you. Okay, cool. So, so, so the make money online deal, right? Um, and, and just all these different industries. I've been in a lot of them. I've been able to make a lot of money in a lot of them. But they're hustles, right? They're hustles. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's short term money, and you have to put in a heck of a lot of work to get long term results. All right. And one of the things that I've learned is that. You have to position yourself to really maximize the law of leverage, right? Where you are able to do something and start allowing other things to work for you uh, on your behalf rather than you doing all the work. And so what I discovered about the whole make money online or to make money from home or even this entrepreneurial venture that we are on, one of the best things you could ever do, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to be talking about this a lot in the PIC community. I want you guys to go on over to PIICcommunity.com. I'm going to be teaching and showing you guys exactly how to follow this passive income method. Um, what are the things you need to know? How do you need to position yourself? What are the key resources you need to have? What are the ways that you can turn them around and get paid? How are you going to be able to attract an audience? How do you keep an audience? How do you get people to read and buy into your messages? How do you build a following? How do you build loyalty? How do you create a movement? You know, how do you create long-term success? We'll be talking about these things in the pit community because here's the secret. The secret is not chasing the latest and greatest opportunity that claims to make you a lot of money. Now, don't get me wrong. These opportunities are really beneficial because you do need right now money. But one of the things that we have to start thinking about and we have to position ourselves for, guys, is developing online assets. It's putting yourself in position where you do something one time and you get paid for it over and over and over again. What happened for me and the reason why I began to make changes is because I started feeling like I'm doing the same thing today that I was doing when I first got started. And it doesn't mean that you are above anything or you're too good for anything because I never want to get to a place where I feel like I'm too good to work. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to have to work hard at something. But if I can work smarter rather than working harder, and if my behaviors and the characteristics of what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis can change where I feel like I'm doing more leverage that I'm doing more labor, then that's the kind of activity that I wanna to shift towards. And what was happening for me, from network marketing companies to business opportunities to all these different things, they started feeling very laborious, right? Where I, I felt myself always in this grind, like working from the top of the day to the end of the day, the top of the day to the end of the day. And what I had to start asking myself is, okay, cool, you know, the reality is, guys, I've, I never probably make less than 15, 20 grand a month on a worse month, right? Which is cool. It feels like a lot of money, right? That's, that's decent. And in good months, I can make 30, 40, 50 grand, right? That's great. But the thing about it is, is if, if you are, if you're working this crazy amount of time and schedule to, to, uh, for, for this hustle and it's doing, you're putting the work in today, but you don't know if the work you're putting in today is going to set you up a week from now. And you got to start from scratch a week from now to make sure you hit these same numbers, to make sure you're doing the same production, to make sure that people are still motivated, to make sure people, you know, you, you have this like redundant process of, I don't know what the outcome is going to be. Then what happens is, is you have to ask yourself, does it make sense for me to invest 50, 60 hours a week in the unpredictable process of generating income to say, okay, I can make some fast track right now money. Or should I take this time, energy, and effort, make a little bit less right now, but put the time and energy into something that I can see it grow? What happens is you go from the $1,000 a day mentality to the doubling your penny, the compound effect, 
where you double a penny a day for the next 30 days, you'll walk away with five million plus dollars as opposed to taking a thousand dollars a day and you end up with thirty thousand dollars, right? Do, do y'all get what I'm saying? see. Renee, is it your computer? Is it your Wi-Fi? What is it, Renee? What's causing you to not be able to see? Are y'all with me? I know there's a little bit of a delay. Can you hear me? I feel like I'm speaking like too deep of a conversation for y'all at 10 o'clock at night. My phone is dying. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Can I get a thumbs up? Some stars, some fireworks? You get what I'm saying? Okay. Only Kimberly gets what I'm saying. Only Kimberly can hear me. Hello? Anybody there? I can hear you. Can y'all see me? <laughs> Michelle said it's only 8.30. That's because you mountain time, Sean. Yes, can hear you loud and clear. Okay, cool. I think it's just a delay. It's almost 5 a.m. What you doing up, ho? Rove. That's my that's my 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 designer. Isha. All right, cool. So there's a delay. All right, so you guys are a little delayed. So so my point is this. As entrepreneurs, when we first get started, all we care about is making money. And I get it. And we make decisions based on making some quick cash. We really want to make money. And we do things and we follow the bright lights, the shiny objects, right? And I did it. I did it for eight years. But after enough redundancy, right? You join a biz, you market the biz, you generate income for the biz, you, you do good. You know, it, it, it has its, 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 its period of time where you got about six months to a year where it's a lot of hype and a lot of momentum and then it goes down, people start changing because something new comes out and they shift gears and they go to the next deal and you do it again, you rise to the top, you make the money. You, you, after you do this so many times, you start realizing like, yo, this is a cycle. It's a vicious cycle. And I don't wanna play this cycle anymore. I don't wanna ride this roller coaster anymore. I want something that it might not be as as high in the beginning, but it creates consistency and growth. And it begins to create a U shape rather than an M, right? So you 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 start off, I don't even want to say a U, but you just see it starting and it begins to incline and it goes on its way up. What I mean by that is, is I know that I want to start developing things that are going to have long-term value. It's kind of like investing money, right? You know, I started investing years ago. I never knew what I was doing. And now I've been meeting people. I actually met a guy who's who's gonna be mentoring me and showing me how to do options. I got some other guys who trade currency. You know, I got people who buy tax liens and real estate investment properties. And I have a bunch of people around me who are who've built millions in, in different industries and they're exposing me to different ways in which they've made their money. But one of the things that I've discovered for each of them is, and, and, I, and, and most people hate this, um, I, I guess I have to find the right terminology for it, but, but the more, the older I get, or I'm going to say the older, but the more mature I get and the more wise I become in my journey, the more I understand the concept of slow and steady wins the race. Um, and, but then you have people who say, well, speed, speed is, speed is, um, speed is, uh, money loves speed, right? You have, you have different things that conflict with old statements. But when we say slow and steady wins the race, one of the mistakes that I made when I first got started as an entrepreneur was I rushed past the process. I never wanted to take the time to do the unsexy things that didn't look like they were going to make me money. And one of the biggest mistakes that I've made in my eight year journey was never ever building out my home base and never really putting the epicenter of my income together, right? The nucleus, the, the one thing that would be my hub, my home base, it would be my, my headquarters, my compound, right? The one, that's one of the biggest mistakes that I've made. And when I look back over the years, what happened was 
I began to promote everybody else's home base. And I never created an epicenter of my own. I never really built on a foundation to have my own empire, but instead I built a brand around promoting other people's empires. And I don't regret it. I just learned from it that this is the season to understand. And, and listen, here, here's the deal. Most of you guys are not there yet. Most of you have to promote other people's stuff to figure out what you really want. All of us go through different seasons. So you can't compare my chapter 12 or chapter 20 with your chapter one or your chapter two. In the beginning, you follow what's available to learn what you like and what you don't like. I always say there's five phases to success. You have your learn, edit, master, harvest, teach, right? So you learn something, you edit what you want and what you don't want, and then you master it. The thing for me is I've gone through this editing process now and I'm in the stage of mastery and I've discovered what I want to master. And I made a decision that I'm going to I'm going to master building an epicenter around the, the messaging that, that I've learned over the years, being able to take these things that I've learned and start putting it out there into the marketplace and being able to help people understand how to create their own empires, how to create their own online assets, how to create their own online income, and not just being so caught up in like, what's going to make me a ton of money now? And so when it comes down to you guys as entrepreneurs, learn, edit, master, harvest, teach. Okay, learn, edit, master, harvest, teach. Harvest is when you start getting paid and you start reaping the rewards for that thing that you've mastered. So learn, edit, master, harvest, and teach, okay? But one of the biggest things that I've made a decision to do, guys, is to pull away from trying to do everything so fast and instead understand the things that are going to bring long-term success and begin to do the things that are unsexy, right? The things that make you money, I heard Warren Buffett give this advice the other day. He said, the things that are going to be able to bring you wealth are the things that are predictable. He said, they're the unsexy, boring things that create predictability in your income. He said, I only buy businesses that are predictable, that I can look at and I can understand the numbers and I can know that there's systems in place, there's processes in place, there's things that are in place that are going to create income. And, and, and many of you guys don't understand this language yet, but I'll be teaching this to you in the PIC community, P-I-I-C community.com on how to begin to understand how to invest in the unsexy things that's going to bring you a hell of a lot of money. Because you guys will actually be able to follow my journey. You'll be able to see how I put things in place that have been able to net me, you know, bring me 15 grand in 48 hours. Um, things that I've launched you know, in two days that made $30,000. You know, things that I put in place that on a day in and day out basis, you know, just passive income can bring two, three thousand dollars on uh, this. Um, the Wi-Fi is going in and out. I want I don't have to do anything. You know, it's all set up on automation. Things just come in and consistently generate income over and over and over again. And I, I'm going to be sharing this stuff with you guys. So here, here's what I want you to get out of this conversation is that many of us end up in on the treadmill of life in our businesses as entrepreneurs. Many of us, it's like you're running fast, going full speed. You know, you have your, your treadmill on 6.0 and you got the incline on 3.0, right? A 4.0. You going fast, uphill, you exhausted, you tired, you pushing, you going, going, and you acting like you're doing something. But when you look around, you haven't made any progress. Your scenery is the same, you know, your, the people you're around is the same. You feel like you're not making any progress. And what happens, guys, is this is why I'm not getting caught up in these conversations anymore about um, promoting stuff that, that the money can buy you as an incentive for you to join a deal, right? I'm not going to show you, you know, luxury cars and red bottoms and this, that, and the other uh, as an enticement. I'm not here to entice. I'm here to empower, right? But a lot of times we like being duped. Be honest with yourself. How many of you are inspired to watch people have a lot of luxury items and you make decisions based on what they have, right? Now, don't get me wrong. You want people who have results that, you know, that, that you can follow, but most of us want the quick and easy way. However, how many years have you been chasing a quick and easy way? And how much has it cost you in time? How much progress has it made you? Now, I've made a couple of million bucks, right? 
uh, being able to do this stuff over the years. But what I, when I looked back, I still felt like I had to be attached to somebody else's empire to be able to maintain and be consistent in that. And I began to understand, no, nah, it's a whole nother way you need to do this thing. And I started seeing the people who were slow and consistent. I don't say slow and consistent. I don't like the word slow. But I'm going to say consistent and steady in what they did. And they focused on creating online assets. They focused on creating passive income. They focused on positioning themselves to be able to generate long-term money and not just short-term money. And they got away from that hustling mentality. And instead, they put their head in the game into a, an actual blueprint. You know, I, I sat at a, um, I was sitting at a Chuck E. Cheese just now, and I was mapping out some things for my business. And, and I had to get very clear. And the reason why I had to get very clear is because I get bored. And I, I have to do things to the point where I got to write down every detail of something, right? Especially with what I'm doing now, as far as this passive income strategy, I have to be very, very detailed of what I'm building out, having a checklist in place, what things need to be done, what is the deadline to get them done by so that I can stay on track because it's easy for our minds to drift and get away from being consistent in the things that we need to get consistent in. But here's what's so beautiful. The things that I'm doing, guys, you're going to be able to see me go from $10,000, $20,000 a month to, I promise you, within the next 12 to 18 months, you'll see me over $50,000, dollars $70,000 a month in automated passive income, right? In automated passive income. And some of you might be wondering, you know, how can you say that? And, and is this a scam or how can you guarantee that? The thing about business is you got to have a blueprint. You got to have predictable, predictable outcomes that you're putting in place to say, this is what I'm going to do. And for me, my predictable outcomes are the income streams that I'm putting in place, <clears throat> right? Affiliate marketing income streams, uh, info product income streams, um, Kindle eBooks, right? E-commerce. These are all the different things that, that I'm setting up and putting in place to be able to generate income. And as a result of doing those things, it's going to make it like super duper predictable. So anyway, you know, there's a lot of things that I can share with you guys about this. My point in doing this video was to give y'all like, you guys know, I don't really beat around the bush. I don't do a lot of hypey. I don't do a lot of hypey um, things. I like to speak straight up like for those. And this is not for everybody. This is for people who are entrepreneurs um, or wannapreneurs. You're out here. You want to be an entrepreneur, but you feel like you're always on a treadmill and you're not making any progress. And you're trying to figure out what do I need to do to get out of this rat race. And the thing about it is, is you got to get away from chasing uh, a, a, a get rich. And, and I, it's nothing wrong with getting rich fast, but you got to get away from chasing those, those shiny objects and start thinking about how can I build online assets? How can I position myself that the things that I do today are going to create an income for me one year from now? two years from now, three years from now. You know, I follow a guy and I talk about him all the time. He averages about $1.6 million a year, very little effort. Only thing that he does is he he does a podcast. He does a blog post once a week. Um, and he has a whole team now that he pays to make things happen. So I'm going to give y'all like a quick little, a little, uh, let's see if I A quick little snippet, right? And before my phone die. So, so this is how detailed. I'm just gonna kind of show y'all. This is how detail I get, right? And you guys can kind of see. But I write everything down, you know, and make sure that I have everything in place. Okay. So it's like detail by detail. What needs to be in place? What are the topics? What are the focus? Right. What, what are my blog posts going to be? What are my income streams going to be? What are the things that I need to do in knowing exactly, you know, the kind of income uh, that is going to be earned, right? Getting extremely serious about that. Understanding what my business goals are is knowing like, like you can see that here, passive income in a circle, what it is, goals, focus, vision, mission, right? Pick resources. I have everything mapped out, Okay mission, focus, goal, profit sources, right? So it's understanding that things are all here, right? 
You see that? So it, it's, it's being extremely clear of what you are. And these are the kind of things that we're going to talk about in the community. How can I get away from hustling and bustling all the time, busting my arse, right? Doing all these things, trying to make the next buck. And I never know when I'm going to have a predictable amount of income. I never know like where my next income source is coming in. I never know like when I'm going to stop having to hustle so, so hard. Yeah, I don't want to work hard. I do not want to be slaving away. I don't want to be on my phone all day. I don't want to be traveling all over the country doing meetings. I, I don't want to do that stuff. And I'm not going to do that stuff. And if it takes for me to scale back and pull back and reshift gears and revamp my plan, I'm going to do it. And a lot of you guys, you know, unfortunately, there's no thought in what we do, right? We act. We simply react to a lot of what we see and we, we, we get very hopeful about it, but we don't really put forth a plan to say how it's going to benefit us or how it's going to benefit our position us. Even if, and it's not to knock any company. If you're going to, if you're going to do these business opportunities, be smart with your money that you make and say, okay, once I make this money, I'm going to invest this money in places that is going to grow. It's going to stretch. The problem that I have is that, hey, Jennifer, the problem that I have is most people make this money and they blow it, right? I did it. You get the money and you blow it. You start taking these extravagant trips or you have to put the money back into your business to keep it going, you know, and you end up realizing that you, you put so much into your business that you're not really positioning yourself to put your money to work. And, and a lot of us don't know how to do that. So we're going to be creating this conversation, y'all, about how can I start getting to a place where I have multiple income streams, right? I shared this before. Let me go to, um, let me see. I'm going to show you guys this income report. Uh, I think this is it. What is it? You go, go to the website. If you go to, I'm going to see which one it is. But these people all inspired me. They're doing some of the things. I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly what it is that I'm talking about. How to set yourself up where you can start generating passive income. Um, but I had did this, this little roundup back in April. Right? And I'm going to do another one. But I talked about these different people and how they're creating their income streams. Right? And they start off low. This young lady here is only at $15.69 a month. But listen, that might be somebody's monthly earning, right? This young lady's at $1,911 a month. I'll take that passive income. These are all passive income streams that they're developing. $3,200, right? $4,000, $7,400, okay? $24,000, right? And I put here like what she's doing. She does writing, virtual assistant work, course sales, coaching, right? This one, this young lady made $48,000. This one made, this guy made $35,000. This lady made $71,000, right? This other young lady made $103,000. This guy made one sixty six dollars in one month, y'all. And this guy made two hundred and thirteen. dollars He and his girlfriend made $213,000 in one month, right? So how, how did they get there? Is, is straight up focusing on developing online assets. And these are the things that we're going to show you in the PIC community. So what's going to happen, guys, I'm launching the PIC community on the 30th, okay, August 30th. Um, but I'm going to be releasing some information for those that are on my list early on. And I'm going to be walking you guys through a early bird preview of what the PIC community is all about. Um, hey, Mimi, I see you, girl. I, I see you doing your thing. Right. I saw your post. I see you doing the exact same thing. I'm proud of you. Good job. Um, but I'm going to literally the, what is the pick community all about? All right. For years, I've wanted to do this for years. I've wanted to really focus and put this stuff in place and I neglected it and I've learned what to do, but I never took the time to do it. And so what I'm doing now, guys, is giving you an opportunity to look over my shoulder and see everything that I am doing. I literally, um, I have like so many things in place um, where I've been documenting every single step of the way. I talk about, um, you know, ways in which I've, I've been able to make 
these random income. I show you guys the whole little process of, of let me see, I think this is it, passive income timeline. Maybe this is it. Um, but I give you guys a look over my shoulder, right? Okay, so yeah, this is it. Uh, I'll show y'all a little highlight. But this is like something, this is like an example of, and this is going to be more so in a different presentation format, but it was just me kind of documenting it. But it's me documenting the journey where I sat down with a young lady and I wrote out my $1.2 million plan, just inspired by what she taught. And then I talked about how what she, what me and her and I talked about on Tuesday, I put into place on Wednesday and I generated $6,000 in sales in 24 hours, right? And so just so, you know, a lot of times people hear this kind of stuff and they don't believe you. So just so you can actually see, I put it in place where you can see the income earned, right? Just for those dates, six, uh, 329, 330, $6,400, right? So I mapped it out. And I'll go in and I'll talk about what I did that Thursday. Launched a course, nearly 11K earned in 48 hours with additional 5K earned 24 hours later. And then I show what that looks like, right? There goes the income, $10,000. I hope y'all can see that, right? $10,000, okay? And so I go into um, all this stuff and I go into detail. This is what the PIC community is all about is, you know, I show how I generate an extra $5,200, right? And I show the actual checks, the, the uh, earnings, so that you can actually see. And then I just give an overview. And I start explaining where the money came from, how we set it up. And so what I'm doing is I'm documenting literally step by step. Here's what I did. Here's how I did it. Here's what I did. Here's how I did it. Here's what I did. Here's how I did it. I'm documenting it because... What happens, y'all, is there's a lot of people selling hype. There's a lot of people that sell you a piece of the puzzle, but they don't sell you the full picture. And I hate that. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I hate when they try to sell you something, to sell you more things, to sell you more things, to sell you more I understand business. I sell stuff. But I also understand value. And this information is for anybody. You can be a newbie. You can be a veteran. You can be um, a, a, a traditional business owner. You can be a new business owner. But this is what the PIC community is all about. Make sure you register at PIICcommunity.com. PIICcommunity.com. Um, but I break down how all this stuff looks, how it plays out, and I give you a look over my shoulder to show you how I'm going to go literally from a couple grand a month uh, on, uh, on my first, on my, my, on my, on my home base a couple grand a month in automation and how I'm setting it up to get it up to forty, fifty thousand dollars a month to ultimately get it up to over a hundred thousand dollars a month in the next 12 to 18 months. And so the pick community is a mastermind really. I don't want to say a mastermind. It's kind of not really a good term to use. Um, a think tank, right? Where it is you getting a look over my shoulder at exactly what I'm doing and then an opportunity to follow in my footsteps to set up your own online assets and start being positioned to do the exact same thing so that you can start getting beyond just hustling, right? But instead, you put your time, your energy, and your effort in creating something that is going to give you very long-term success. And then, and not only will you, will you be following in my footsteps, but you'll be learning the psychology behind why we do what we do, Right? You'll be able to fully be engaged in like understanding why. Why do we say this? Why do we do this? Why do we launch this? Why do we promote this? Why do we give this away? Why do we give that away, right? Instead of feeling like you're doing a bait and switch on people trying to get people to give you money, you'll understand that you are a, a resource that gives so much value that you know people can't wait to pay you. And that's what the, the, the passive income inner circle is all about. It's really um, giving you a chance. I mean, I can go on and on, right? Like this is all laid out. It's all laid out. So it, I, I, I map everything out and I, you know, I explain why we do this. So you can see something else for um, total sales up to May 10th. Uh, you know, I break it all down. 16,211 in sales. Give you screenshot. Right, recurring revenue, eight thousand dollars. Right, so we break this thing down, and it helps you to understand what's happening. 
And so I know a lot of people are like, well, what is this? Is this another business opportunity? Is this another company? You know, what are you promoting? Um, no, I'm not. Not at all. Uh, and, and it's because I don't want to promote something else and then be out of it in another three months and then be promoting something else and be out of it in another three months. I'm sick of that. Um, and it's not that I, I'm inconsistent. It's that I need to be focused on what I really, really want to do. And that's helping people to understand how to take your message and package it up and get it out there into the marketplace and get paid for it without being ashamed, right? Um, is this information-based? What are the dimensions of the PIT community and what is the actual product? So the actual product is the community and online trainings. Okay, good question. But I don't understand what you mean by dimensions. What do you mean by dimensions? Because I don't understand what that means. <laughs> you got to break that down for me. Um, so so it, it, it really is a think tank. Um, it's not for everybody. Yes, it is going to cost. Because I'm not going to waste my time with people who are looking to kick tires and, and blow on the unicorn and hope that magic fairy dust flies out with a million dollars. That's not what we're doing. Um, it really is about people who are seriously wanting to build online assets, wanting to create long-term success. They're committed to their process and they understand it's a process and not a true like push button. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be a millionaire. But it's understanding that, you know what? I've been around enough to see that a lot of stuff come and go so fast that I really need to take the time to build something solid. And if I build something solid, it'll pay me. I showed you all these people income report. We're going to have, God, this is July. We need to have a June income report coming out soon. Um, and you guys will get to see <coughs> my income report starting from scratch. I'm literally starting from scratch. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, blow on the unicorn and fairy magic comes out. Fairy dust, right? So anyway, I, I wanted to share that with you guys as to why I'm making these changes in my business model. Um, I feel like I said a lot of nothing tonight. I don't know if because it's late and I'm tired. Um, maybe I should have did this at a 9 a.m. session. Um, maybe I'll do it again because I spent my whole day in the office and half of the other half in the hot Texas heat with kids. So, but I'm hoping that that this makes sense to you guys. Um, I'm hoping that amongst all my rambling, because I'm probably rambling because I'm tired, right? I'm usually in bed by 10, okay? I go to bed early these days. Um, <laughs> that you got something out of this and you understand what I'm saying. And understand this, I'm not knocking any opportunities. I'm not knocking any, listen, I'm leveraging opportunities. Um, I will still leverage affiliate programs. I will still leverage network marketing programs. I will still leverage online business programs. But what I won't do is only focus on those things and not build my epicenter and not build my home base and not build and establish the nucleus that's going to keep my long-term success. So in essence, those things are not going to be my primary conversation. Those things will be a byproduct of my conversation. Um, they will be pieces of my income sources, but it won't be my only income source. Thank you, Mimi. Look, Mimi, I know you get it, girl, because you're already doing it. You've been, you've been, you've been killing it over there. I'm proud of you. I think you up to what, $500, $600 a month, right? Um, on your passive income on yours. So, so I, I want you guys to, to just really, I wanted to share this with, with a lot of you, um, because I, this is my, July has been my month off. I've literally been hiding like the whole month of July and 300. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. That's a pretty big deal. Um, it took $15 for me to be convinced. That was what really made me get excited was when I made my first 15 bucks. So, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Make sure you sign up for the Passive Income Inner Circle. Um, I'm believing I'm supposed to be going camping next week. So I'm believing in the next two weeks. You guys are going to, I'm launching on August 30th. And I am going to, um, thank you, Mimi. Uh, I'm launching August 30th to, to the public, but for all of you guys here in our community here, um, in our uh, Facebook community, uh, we're going to be doing a preview for the passive income in the circle for you guys to really get an understanding of what it is and how it's going to work. It's not going to be a conventional training course or anything like that. It truly is going to be a think tank. Um, I'm not interested in a bunch of like, uh, just the same, same stuff that exists. I want it to really be a collaborative effort of, all right, here's what I'm working on. What are you working on? And what do you need help with? Um, and how can we support you in making that happen? 
and helping you to get clarity as to what you need to do to make it happen, okay? And we'll be meeting, um, having monthly masterminds where we talk about things and really setting stuff up. So it's going to be a proactive community, not a uh, learning community where you just watch videos and you just learn, 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 learn. Um, and we're also going to meet live. We're going to have a couple of uh, live events where we come together and we start incorporating these things into uh, or we do a weekend hangout at, at um, in mansions, as a matter of fact. I already am looking into a couple of locations. Um, I'm looking into, uh, I don't want to give up too much, but in the wintertime, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful resort in the snow for all my black people who ain't never been into the snow for skiing. Well, guess what? We're going to do some unconventional things, my brown colored people. Um, <laughs> and I, I know, you know, us, 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 us brown folks run from the cold, but we're going to do some really fun things um, and create a community and a conversation around this stuff. Like a lot of you just don't get it and that's fine. And I want to take the time and teach it to you and not just be pulling you through like a meat market and just cramming everybody in one place and saying, do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, and you get lost. So we're going to have some really cool stuff coming up. I already got my team looking for locations. Um, next summer, we're looking at doing something on a beach, on a tropical island around the month of July of 2017. And so it's going to be some really fun stuff. Um, coming up. And it's all about how can you create online assets? How can you create passive income? And in and, and the passive income community, y'all, is not just about making money. It's about four principles. Earn, save, grow, and invest. Earn, save, grow, invest. Four things that we're not taught when we're talking about making money, right? Um, so anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. Make sure you are plugged in at the PIC community, right? P-I-I-C community.com. P-I-I-C community.com. And I'm so glad you guys are uh, excited. I'm glad Tashana said this is what I've been looking for. Yay. 